I've cleared off my patio. I've cleared off my patio, and now you can get a better look on my screen and porch. You can get a better look at the floors. And then the um the screen, the frame of the screen and porch. That's pretty yucky. It does have some green algae on there. So, and that's all the way around. I don't have to show the whole thing, but it's all the way around. So we're going to attack that. And um, again, my siding is really isn't that bad, but um, I do have some bugs here as well. The ceiling of the uh, porch is not bad at all in the back. The front was way worse, but this isn't bad at all. So um, I'm still gonna spray it down some because I do see some spider webs up there. So yeah, and this is um, the wetland back there. My property goes a little further than those trees. And among those trees, way in the back is a wetland so that's why um i have a lot of bugs and like i said sometimes um snakes but hopefully we won't experience any of that uh this year i hope so i hope not um but yeah that area back there is a wetland i think i said um swamp <laughs> earlier but definitely not a swamp it's a wetland it's always wet back there and um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. That's some stuff that I had on my back porch. Um, this is the outside of the of the screen in porch, which extends my patio. I'm going to sweep and probably try to spray down this as well. Um, I went back to Home Depot and I actually got this bigger bottle here. Um, I think this is one gallon and it has the same ingredients um the same formula as this small bottle back here um only thing i did was refill this bottle i refill this bottle with this and they're both the same price you just get more um and on here it says for tougher um areas to use it as is but for areas that's not as bad you can actually use water and i want to say it's uh one part water and three part of the solution or vice versa you guys just make sure if you do get this one read the directions because i don't remember 100 percent. but i'm actually going to use it as is because as i stated it has the same formula same active ingredients um right here it's the same there's no difference so um so i'm gonna use it as is again i just refilled this bottle this small bottle with this bigger bottle here so i'm going to attack my patio and i'm going to show you guys probably a little bit of it because it's the same thing that i did to the front and um i'm probably going to also try to spray some oven on the back of my home too this portion of the of the siding isn't bad at all. Um, those gutters up there, I don't know if you guys can see. Those gutters up there are bad, but of course, I doubt if it can reach all the way up there. So I'm just gonna do what I can do. And yeah, let's get to it.
my son wanted my son wanted to try it a little bit go up higher son go up higher go side to side yeah it's gonna get on you a little bit don't waste my product all right close that put that on off click that black thing all the way to the right all right guys so he just wanted to try to do it you guys but the water was coming back on him so i'm going to get it because he's wasting my product Wasting a product when it spilled. is tired oh my gosh the back of my home y'all especially the screen and porch and the left side of my home was the worst it had the most um mildew well not mildew i'll say um algae built up um so yeah but I can say, okay, I'm gonna go ahead um, and share with y'all my pros and cons. I'm gonna go through the cons first. Okay, my con is one bottle does not cover 4,500 square feet. Now my house is not 4,500 square feet. Um, I think it's maybe, it's between 23 and 2,500 uh, square feet, but I'm not 100% sure. But what I can say is it does not because I did run out several times um, so I purchased a total of two of the small containers and then I went back to Home Depot today and I got the bigger one that I showed you in the previous clip and I used that whole container the bigger one the whole container for the back portion of my home and the two sides of my home which I could use maybe another big bottle to really get the left side of my home because it was the dirtiest as well as my screen and porch I did need to go over that some more um, so that's my only con pretty much oh my second con okay so my first con is it does not cover 4,500 square feet one bottle does not my second con is it does not well it's kind of a it's kind of a con and it's kind of not I guess it depends on um, how high your second level is because your second story is because it did reach some portion of my the second level of my house however it did not reach the entire uh, second story um, of my home so it's kind of mixed feelings about that so um again it depends on how high your second floor is of your home um if you had a ladder 
uh, you could reach it even with the ladder like your standard ladder um, I still wouldn't be able to reach the entire portion of my of the second floor of my home but if I had a ladder that um, I guess industry not industry engineering or whomever home improvement um, personnel uses to reach very high places when they like do the roof and everything um, of course you can reach it but like I said I'm not gonna stand up that high because I'm a little timid of um, of going up that high so that's my second con but my pros you guys is this solution works without scrubbing um, another one is an amateur my second pro is an amateur can do this I'm an amateur you guys I've never done this before and I really enjoyed it and then I had a clip in there showing you my son um, who is 10 he was doing it as well a little bit he the water was splashing back on him because it came a loose from the bottle the water hose did um, so make sure that your hose is very very tight on the bottle um, and I'm not gonna say that's a con because it could have been something that I did so back to the pro so number one uh, amateur can do this number two it requires no scrubbing um, number three is you get good results and number four it was only nine dollars and 97 cents so um yeah those are my four pros and i would say for the size of my home which i stated is um the size of my home which i stated is between 23 to 25 i can't remember it's somewhere in between that you guys square foot between 2300 and 2500 I can't remember the exact number but however if your home is in between those square feet I will say and also it depends on how dirty um, your home is as well um, I will say maybe four containers of the larger ones the one gallon which let me mind let me remind you now it's the same price as the smaller bottles smaller bottles the only difference is the bigger bottles does not have the nozzle on there that you can um, secure your water hose to so that's the only difference however the price is the same you get one gallon um, for nine dollars and ninety seven cents and I think the other one I can't remember the size of the smaller one you guys but um, I did refill the smaller container two times no three times actually yeah three times with the um with the big gallon the one gallon i refilled the small um container three times using that so i will say maybe for like i said that size of home i will say maybe about um maybe about four four bottles i will say four bottles of the um of the big ones big containers which is nine dollars and ninety seven cents which totals what with tax probably maybe about forty something dollars yeah a little over forty because nine dollars and ninety seven cents we're just going to round that up to ten um four bottles will be forty dollars plus tax maybe what forty six dollars forty seven dollars less than fifty dollars to do your home um in opposed to you getting someone to come and power wash your home um and they, most most people are going to use your water so they're using your water plus they're charging you anywhere between i'll say maybe 300 to 400 dollars somewhere up in there um so yeah and that's not even most people that's not even including your porch and your uh your driveway they charge so make sure that um you really look into and see what it covers but to me you guys this is a cheaper version um when my husband do power wash the home um because he knows how to do this so i won't have to pay anyone it's just we have to find one um because we really don't want to purchase one um but home depot you can rent those pressure washers the machines you can i don't know how much because my the one that's closer to my home 
does not um, carry pressure washers, but the one um, on the other side of town um, does uh, allow you to rent them, but I have not called them. Maybe before I actually um, um, post this video, maybe I will call them and I'll either I'll leave it in the description box and see what's the difference between renting a pressure washer um, and and buying the products that I just told you about. So anyway, later, I'm tired. I got to go in here and get me something to eat. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. I, 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 I,